Here's what you need. A clean shop towel, cat part 1U8760 chain wrench, cat part 1757546 oil filter cutter group, the correct amount of clean engine oil, a new oil filter gasket, a new cat oil filter, and proper PPE. Don't forget to include two drain pans of the proper size for the used oil. Before beginning, let's review a few important reminders. In preparation, run the engine to normal operating temperatures, then stop the engine. Failure to follow this recommended procedure will cause settled waste particles and other contaminants to remain in the engine. To avoid personal injury throughout this module, do not allow hot oil or hot components to contact the skin. Section 1. Draining the Engine Oil Before you begin, determine if your engine is equipped with a drain valve, shallow sump, or neither. This video covers a generator set equipped with only a drain valve. Step 1. Turn the drain valve knob counterclockwise and allow the oil to drain into a suitable container. Step 2. After the oil has drained, put on proper PPE and turn the drain valve knob clockwise to close the drain valve. Section 2. Replacing the oil filter. Step 1. Remove the oil filter with a 1U8760 chain wrench. Step 2. Cut the oil filter open with a 1757546 oil filter cutter group. Now break apart the pleats and inspect the oil filter for metal debris. Due to normal wear and friction, it is common to find small amounts of debris in the oil filter. Consult your local CAD dealer for further analysis if excessive debris is found. It may indicate early wear or a pending failure. Step 3. Clean the sealing surface of the filter mounting base with a clean shop towel. Ensure there is no residue of the old oil filter gasket remaining. Step 4. Apply clean engine oil to the new oil filter gasket. To avoid contamination, do not fill the oil filters with oil before installing them. Step 5. Install the new CAT oil filter. Tighten the oil filter by hand according to the instructions until the oil filter gasket contacts the base. Remember not to over-tighten the oil filter. Finally, Section 3. Filling the engine crankcase. To prevent engine damage, consult your particular model's OMM to determine the proper amount of oil. For equipment with auxiliary or remote oil filter systems, follow the manufacturer and OEM recommendations. Step 1. Remove the oil filler cap and fill the crankcase with the proper amount of oil. To prevent crankshaft bearing damage, plus fill the oil filters, crank the engine with the fuel off for no more than 30 seconds. Step 2. Start the engine and run it on low idle for 2 minutes. This will prevent crankshaft bearing damage, plus ensure the lubrication system and oil filters have enough oil. Step 3. Inspect the oil filter for leaks. Step 4. Stop the engine and allow the oil to drain for a minimum of 10 minutes. And finally, Step 5. Remove the oil level gauge and ensure the oil level is between the add and full marks. Just a reminder to make sure you dispose of the used oil according to local regulations and recommended procedures.